hi i'm back again with another haul video um this time i did like a collective haul it's a bunch of stuff from i bought things from morphe uh, sephora and ulta um, for ulta i was able to use a lot of my points that i had accumulated i started purchasing um some christmas gifts already because they have so many new products and packages um, like Christmas sets coming out that I thought I'd get an early start so I just want to share some of the goodies that I got so let's start with Morphe so the first palette that I ordered is the 35B palette um, I'm fairly I'm fairly new to Morphe I only have one other palette which was a 350 that I received as a gift let me try to open it um, so this one is the 35B palette and it's just so colorful. I want to try to challenge myself to use um, more colors. So this is the 35B palette. It's so pretty. And what else? The, uh, the next palette I, re I ordered was the 35B. E palette and this one is a lot of shimmer shades um, a lot of neutrals and pink tones so so this is a 35e and the one that I'm most excited about it was the Jaclyn Hill palette so every time it launched I would miss it I <laughs> miss the launches and I got to the point where I asked my niece to set an alarm and to buy it for me because it was going to launch while I was at work. <laughs> so I finally got the, the Jaclyn Hill palette um, and then I've heard that it's actually going to be permanent now. So it's really good for um, all of the Jaclyn Hill fans to be able to get their hands on the palette but this is what it looks like. I'm mostly excited about this side right here because I think like all these other sides I have very similar shades in my other palettes but I did want to play with some of the colors um, some of this like mustard mustardy looking color so I'm really excited to play with this I think this is the first palette I want to this one's for me <laughs> um, and I also ordered a 350 palette um, to give as a gift as well I need to get it together, get my thoughts straight. Let's go with, um, next I'm gonna do my Ulta purchases. So with Ulta, they had the 21 Days of Beauty. I really didn't buy too many things from the actual 21 Days of Beauty sale. I, um, I purchased other releases that came out during that time. Um, so I'll go through, and then they had, um, sells on other products like their drugstore products they had buy one get one half off so i wanted to try a few things so i thought it was a perfect time to buy it so um the deep pore brush head and the acne cleansing brush head these are the two that i normally use i don't know if there it is so i think this one is the acne one and oh no this one was the pore the blue one is the pore and the green one is the green one is for acne clearing so these were um, buy one get one free and that's a really good deal because each one of these I think is $32 I've had my Mia my Clarisonic Mia 2 for I think it's been two years already and I love it it's I think it's really the only way I really feel like my skin is clean after taking off my makeup so I love these <laughs> So I got that I also went ahead and I bought one of the it brushes again this one is the complexion perfection airbrush and if you watched my first uh, makeup tutorial type video that I try to do my brush fell apart while I was doing <laughs> my makeup so that happened after I had ordered this one so I'm really hoping that this wasn't a waste of money they were um, half off so I think I got it for $12 but still I hope that this is a better brush what I did with the other one I actually glued it back in 
So that's that. And um, I I got the City Mini palette from Shay the Shayla collection. It looks really pretty. I was really excited to play with this one. I want to try to do like a drugstore makeup look or play with drugstore products a little bit more. Uh, I recently started using more drugstore products. I always get like eyeshadows. Like I love I like the L'Oreal like shimmer shadows but I didn't really have other products from the drugstore so I just want to try so I got the City Mini palette and I also bought the Shayla collection Colossal Big Shot in Black is Black on Days of Beauty they had the they had a new release that came out for platinum members only I'm not sure if it if they these released already but um Maybe they're coming out soon. Uh, I bought these new Real Technique brushes. So it was buy one get one half off, I believe, and on all Real Technique products. And it was a release for for platinum members. So I went ahead and I ordered it. So the first one is a blend and blur. It's a all over, all over brush and it seems to have I probably won't be able to open it on camera <laughs> let me see oh, yeah. um, ooh. this is what it looks like this is an all over base and it says to be you could use it on your face neck and body so it's I don't want to try it on my face because I have foundation on but it's really soft so I bought this one. I also have the foundation brush. It's a little bit smaller. I bought the contour brush. And I have the cheek brush. I've never used these type of brushes, but I've always been very curious. I know, um, so they're like dupes for the Artiste brushes that are super expensive. I think their oval brush like this is like $60 for foundation application. This one seems a little big for my face. So, I mean, it's an all over brush, so I think, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll let you know how this works. So that's all I got for the 21 Days of Beauty. And then I went ahead and used up my points to purchase a few other things at Ulta. So the first was um, these pure eyelashes, and they're in the the it's called Bombshell, and they look like this. Oh shoot, that was a fail. <laughs> this little table. I need to do something about this. So these were a little pricey and I think because I am new to lashes, I probably should have stuck to like an Ardell lash or something, but um, I had points and I hear so many good things about it that I just want to try it and see if, if maybe they're easier to apply. So I have that. I bought um, the Maybelline Master Cameo Conceal. It's another color corrector. I'm probably not going to open it until I finish my Sephora one, not sure. And I also have been very curious about the Satin Touch Blush from Essence, and they're only $2.99. That's like the best part about drugstore products, that they're so cheap. Well, not all drugstore is cheap, but these are. So I got the shade 20 Satin Love, which is... Um, I think it's more like a neutral, kind of like a, I don't know, it's, it reminds me of the shade video from Urban Decay, just like a natural everyday kind of blush. And then I got um, the shade Satin Coral. That's what it looks like. And I bought from Rimmel London, I got a Maxi Bronzer. It's a face and body bronzer, and it's supposed to be, it's matte, yeah. So it's a matte bronzer. I just wanna try more drugstore products, so I got that. 
I don't know why my phone started ringing. That was so weird. I was listening to Pandora earlier today and I've been watching a movie and did all kinds of other things and Pandora wasn't playing and it just started. But what I was saying is I want to try more drugstore products and I've heard that these um, holiday, I think these released during the holiday. It's the Rimmel London um, bronzer. So just wanted to try it. Uh, what else? Oh, and the one I'm really excited about from Ulta is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Lilac Geode. I don't know what's possessed me, but I just, I love highlighters right now. I never liked them before. And this is what the packaging looks like. It's very pretty, it's like a purple packaging. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. Let me, I have to swatch this one. I don't know if you could see it. But it has like a little pink shift to it. Like a peachy gold with a little bit of pink shift. Oh, it's so pretty. I can't wait to put it on. <laughs> oh, this is, these were all from my, using my um, Ulta points. All of this stuff that I just showed um, was using my Ulta points only. But yeah. So that's everything I got from Ulta. Now I'm going to move over to my Sephora products. I should be a little embarrassed because I just did a Sephora haul and I have another one. But it's not a lot, it's, it's not a lot. I think I have one more thing in the mail and I did say in my last one that I had stuff on its way to me when I filmed it so that's my little disclaimer I'll start with the I use my points to get a lip liner in from bite in the shade 34 I don't think these have names but it's shade 34 it was a hundred point perk I got that um, and then I have these Samples from Biosense, um, the squalene oil and the squalene vitamin C and rose oil. I mentioned them in my last haul. So oh, they're so pricey, but um, my face has been feeling a little bit dry on the perimeter. So I wanted to try these little deluxe samples to see if they would be good. So what the squalene, the 100% squalene oil is for the face, body, and hair and it helps to lock like the essential moisture from, it helps lock the moisture in. And um, the squalene vitamin C rose oil is for the face and decollete area and it helps brighten, firm, and even the skin tone. So I'm excited to try these too. They're really small, um, but the full size of it is kind of expensive so I want to just make sure that it doesn't break me out or that I don't have some weird reaction before buying it and my first holiday pa pack holiday purchase um, for this haul is the everlasting liquid lipstick set seven shades one of them is a new one which is Madrid but it comes in all her neutral colors Look at the packaging, it's so beautiful. But um, when I got it, they were spilled all over the box, so I just threw them in here. And I don't know um, which one's which yet. <laughs> they were just all over and I just put them back in the box. But I already have Ludwig, so I probably will just take it out and give it to someone. I might just give this to someone because Kat Von D's um, liquid lipsticks are amazing, but I don't even think that all of these shades would match me. There's probably just three that I really wanted to have, and this was, I believe, I don't remember how much it cost. I think it was 49 and you get seven shades, but I have that. And the one I've been waiting for forever was my... <laughs> Kat Von D Saint and Sinner eyeshadow palette. It comes with 24 shades. 
Um, the back has all of the colors, but just look at that packaging, how beautiful it is. I've been waiting for this palette forever. Um, I collect all of the, the Kat Von D um, holiday palettes. I have maybe the Loca, I have the Metal Matte palette, and now this one. Oh, I can't wait. It's just so beautiful. Look at that. Oh, just the packaging. Like, I just can't wait to put it up there with, like, maybe the Loca palette. Um, so this is... This is the... This is the thinner side of it. Ooh. This is thinner. Look at those colors. <laughs> and this is the saint side. These are more neutral, everyday colors. And let me open the whole thing. Ooh, and I like this mirror. So this is what the palette looks like. Oh, it's so pretty. What if I swatch them? Maybe I'll just swatch. Oh, I don't know. Okay, so the one, the, the shades that I was the most excited about, I'm going to swatch on my hand. Um, this is a shade of Vestment. Oh, the McKay Lounge. And let's try. This one here is Ministry. And let's try Relic. Camera's tripping out. That's um, that's Relic right there. I can't wait. I just can't wait. I'm so excited. I I think this is a palette that I really. They've been showing pictures of it forever, but. Yeah, that's what I, well, oh no, I have two more things. I didn't buy them at Sephora, but I know that they sell it at Sephora. I actually bought them at um, Cost Bar in Carmel by the Sea. I went out there over the weekend and um, there was a, a YSL lipstick that I've been looking at online for a while, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to buy it because I didn't know how the shade would look on me, but since I was at Cosbar, I was able to see it and try it on, and then one thing led to another, and I bought that, and then I bought something else. So let me show you what I got. So, like I was saying, YSL has this, um, it's called Dazzling Lights Collection. Look at that. So, YSL has a very nice, creamy formula lasts a very long time on the lips but the two shades that I have are pretty bold so I don't really wear them I, I have one of them that was a gift that I received um, when I got promoted at work and it's a nice um, red it was like I used it over the holidays and um, the other shade that I have is like a bright I think it's like a bright pink like summer one so this one is shade number nine in dazzling light um, and you can find it on sephora it's on sephora is called rose stiletto oh but it's so beautiful that's what it looks like and it's just another <laughs> dusty mauve i just have i love that color but um just the formula of these ysl lipsticks is amazing so I have that and then um, I was messing around with the highlighters while I was there and the the sales lady was showing me different things and a lot of them were like shimmers like pink she showed me a lot of other like brands but I have a lot of highlighters but she showed me this is this is the um, Touche Clot Touche Eclat Radiant Touch and it's a highlighter. It's not really meant to conceal so if you have dark circles it'll probably accentuate them so she told me not to use it like in the dark circle area. Um, I'm going to be using it more on the 
high points like my cheekbones maybe even under the lip on the bridge of the nose and on the forehead and it's really to help lighten and accentuate different features on your skin so this is something that I intend to wear this is she said I could wear this every day like something really quick when you don't want just that bam in your face highlight or glitter it's just it just illuminates the skin it doesn't have any shimmer or nothing like that so I'm excited to try this little one um, I'm in the shade 2.5 in it and I thought it was going to be light but once she put it on my face and started dabbing it and then she had me she just got me she uh, she had me go outside and look at it in like natural lighting and it was just very pretty so anyway that's everything I have um, no, it's not. Well, it is. This was a gift from Sephora, and it's the three-step skincare system from Clinique for, um, I think this one is for dry skin, I think. Or normal to dry skin was the one, but this was a small gift from Sephora that I got with my purchase from Kat Von D. So yeah, that's everything I purchased this month of September. And uh, yeah, I think after this holidays, I'm officially on a no makeup buy. I need to put myself on a no makeup buy. I don't know if I can do it, but at least maybe like a, a low buy <laughs> because I need to start using the products that I have. But I did challenge myself to finish some products. So let's see how all that goes. Anyways, thanks again for watching and for clicking on my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that button and subscribe. And I hope I see you soon. Bye.